you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yeah protests ongoing as a uh, house of representatives that uh, protest uh, on the committee chairman to stop malami uh, from uh, disclosing uh, the whereabouts of a uh, recovered amount involved uh, the headline also says a uh, protest as a uh, reps uh, committee chairman stops malami from disclosing whereabouts of a uh, recovered amount involved mm, like i would say i have always you know uh, talking about malami in this day uh, because of his uh, antecedent either the past one or the present uh, behavior of his mm, as it is a string of a uh, a subdued protest uh, greeted a smart move by the chairman of the House of Representatives uh, Committee on Justice, Honorable Ugona uh, Ozuribo, uh, to prevent Abu Bakar Malami, the senior advocate of Nigeria, SAN, from disclosing the uh, whereabouts of uh, recovered loot and the actual amounts involved. Malami, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation AGF, had appeared before the committee uh, to defend the ministry's uh, 2022 budget uh, estimates. Uh, done uh, with the uh, presentation, some lawmakers took funds to ask questions on the current uh, status and the exact amount of recovered loot. Oh, so they are talking about loot in a year. Uh, well, first to speak in that uh, direction was Honorable Chinyere Igwe uh, PDP uh, Rivers, uh, representing uh, PDP. Uh, he said that uh, the record uh, needed to be set straight on the matter in view of the uh, controversy surrounding its custody. Uh, Igwe also required and inquired to know why Nigeria was uh, paying usually on a consultancy services on the Paris Club Refund. Uh, he said there are trending issues in the Nigeria policy uh, today and one of the issues is the payment of consultancy uh, services uh, for uh, whichever uh, it, it could be recalled that uh, the uh, Paris uh, 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 fund uh, or club fund uh, it has caused a whole lot of uh, controversy uh, in Nigeria and meanwhile has been said that uh, the Paris uh, fund uh, has been you know in Nigeria uh, account or uh, Nigeria economy and now it has been said that uh, the they, uh, they there's some entity or some elites are really you know delve into that uh, Paris club uh, funds and shared it among themselves now it has been said that uh, they are trying to cover or sweep the case under the carpet and not to you know release uh, uh, the statement or release or to be accountable for the that uh, particular money Igwe also inquired to know why nigeria was paying usually on consultancy services on the paris global refund well he said there are trending issues in the nigerian polity uh, today and one of the issues is the payment of consultancy services for paris club a whooping sum in the region of 400 to 500 million dollars in being uh, in nigeria is being paid and uh, i'm sure you are aware of that Two, uh, you made a reference to the recovery of looted assets yeah, with the uh, successes recorded so far uh, in this regard. Nigerians need to know what has been recovered and where the money has been kept because uh, there has been a controversy uh, as to whether the money is with the EFCC or ICPC. Okay, where is the money? That's the uh, case. Uh, similarly, Honorable Ademori Kuye, APC Lagos, requested to know uh, why the Ministry of Justice uh, was outsourcing legal services to private lawyers uh, when those in the um, employ of a uh, government can easily take up uh, the responsibilities according to the lawmaker over 2.5 billion era had been expended on legal services a uh, queer also asked about the uh, the congestion of uh, correctional centers uh, across the country uh, prosecution of offenders uh, the number of uh, persons released and the number of uh, convictions and why the ministry was uh, outsourcing uh, the maritime uh, cases to lawyers outside the uh, ministry another area of uh, concern to the lawmaker was the current uh, status of the anti torture legislation uh, he said i saw the sum of a uh, 43 million naira appropriated for local training in your 2021 budget and 35 uh, million naira has been released while 32.1 million naira has been expended uh, despite this uh, spare this uh, trainings uh, for our lawyers we still see that a lot of jobs are 
outsourced mm, that is what it is as it's coming you know from our uh, favorable or stable and uh, that is uh, how uh, is it is uh, but uh, uh, notwithstanding uh, according to the expenditure and uh, you know claiming account or laying uh, being accountable for this money uh, they're trying to you know tell us how this money is being spent they said they spent a 2.5 billion era for legal services uh, you spoke of some limitations about lawyers not being able to take up uh, these jobs what are these uh, limitations well i want to ask about the anti-torture legislation uh, you will recall that most of the protests are as a as a result of abuse of office by some of our police officers i want to also find out if the legislation is now in place and if it has not been put in place what is the ministry doing about putting it in place also sometime in 2017 you promised us an anti-torture policy i want to find out how far you have gone uh, with that uh, policy uh, that is uh, what it is mm, uh, the question uh, even uh, noted uh, we will have to give the ministry another date to respond to these uh, questions that was really good said it's in the gavel uh, it's in the nail on the head uh, the chairman ignored a string of protests that ensured from among the members as he discharged the ministry who had earlier made his uh, presentation members were also not allowed to raise questions on the budget presented and the presentation of the budget uh, speaking earlier malami decried poor uh, budgetary allocation to the justice uh, sector uh, the agf also disclosed that there were more funds uh, stashed abroad he, however, said efforts were being made to recover and uh, repatriate them. Okay, what Malam is really waiting for is for them to go and, you know, hijack those money that are being stacked uh, all over uh, the world by Nigerian politicians, uh, which are, who they are Nigerian money, as it is, I believe. So that's what they are waiting for. Uh, it's even true, it's all true, and boils down to, you know, they're borrowing money and sharing it among themselves. That's why I said it, you know, previously in most of our news that Malami is the one ruling uh, Nigeria, not even Buhari. Buhari has been made a dummy. Like I told you, medically, Buhari, you know, has a dementia or definitely is in a co coherent. Mm. He, however, said efforts were being made to recover and repatriate uh, those money or those funds that have been stashed you know, or stolen uh, by these so-called uh, uh, Nigerian citizens, especially the politicians. The minister also disclosed that the Federal Executive Council, uh, FEC, had asked his office to cause a memo for the establishment of a federal tax force to review and validate contract uh, judgment and uh, arbitral awards and also implement the federal verification system. Uh, this, according to him, was to prevent cases similar to the P and ID. Malami also said that approval had been given by the government uh, to incorporate the fund or funding requirements of the Federal Contract Administration System FCAS in Nigeria in the Federal Ministry of Justice uh, 2022 budget proposal just as he highlighted that cases of COVID-19 pandemic kidnapping and armed uh, banditry uh, were some of the challenges faced by the uh, so-called ministry in the health uh, going fiscal year. Mm. My people hope you guys are listening or you've heard it you know coming even from the uh, committee uh, say uh, the uh, federal house of representative uh, also had uh, uh, protested mm, committee chairman stops malami uh, from disclosing uh, whereabouts uh, of recovered amount involved okay what are the recovered amount involved those are uh, the question that has been asked so as the protest is going on uh, as reps committee you know uh, chairman mm, uh, stops malami from uh, disclosing okay if he had stopped Malami from disclosing what uh, the looted fund or uh, the 2022 budget. What is the question? Well, this is where I'm going to, you know, angle the curtain. I would like you to share your views over the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless you.